Hello, brothers and sisters. I am Father Aaron Leach, and today I'm going to do something I have never done before. I'm going to give you folks a chance to witness a very simple uh, Solomonic consecration. Um, now, before any of you get excited, no, I'm not going to be conjuring anything or summoning anything. I'm not even going to be consecrating a talisman. Um, this is just a simple blessing of holy water. Um, this is actually preparatory work. Uh, this is preparing the holy water that we'll use later on for other rituals and spells. So, uh, I, I do apologize, the light is not great in here. I would actually have less light on than this usually. But for the uh, sake of the video, there's also a lot in here that I'm not going to be allowed to show you. So, there, uh, my uh, eastern altar, I already have this open. Switch this around here for you. I've opened this already. Um, not a full Abramelin opening. I just did my prayers and, and said hello and got her awake and made sure there was a candle lit there. I always work with my eastern altar open. And since I can't show you her altar, I just have to uh, have you make do with what you can see through the veil there. Now, if we come over here. Again, I apologize for the light. I'll, I'll open up the uh, curtains in a moment to let in the sun. But uh, this is the earthen vessel, and what you see in the bottom there is wax. There's a hole in the bottom of this. It's a, it was originally a planter. And we repurposed it for this, uh, because I deal in high volume, obviously, with holy water. So this is going to hold all the spring water that we're going to use. Up here is my working altar. I have my Bible here. We've got the Key of Solomon here. Yes, I do use the Mathers Key of Solomon. I'm aware that it's not the best version. I do have the veritable key, and I always compare uh, this version to that when I'm preparing. But um, this has been around for well over 100 years now. It's been in use all that time. It's what I used before there were all these wonderful new translations, and so I stick with it. History with it. Uh, what else do we have here? It's hard to see. Let me go ahead and get these curtains. See if we can shed a little light on some of this. Four square lantern, four sided crystal lantern. Uh, that's a uh, beeswax candle in there uh, with uh, a wick hand spun by a young maiden, my own daughter. And as the Key of Solomon says, on the day and hour of Wednesday, which is now, you have to prepare a censer. And this particular censer, by the way, is special because long before I was ordained myself, this belonged to a, a friend of mine. And he used it, he was an Orthodox priest, actually. And he used this in his ceremonies and then passed it on to me. And he's passed away now. But for a long time, this was the one tool I owned that had actually been used by an ordained priest. And Abramelin incense is my standard incense. Anytime I'm working with my angel, of course, and anytime I'm working a non-planetary working, I always default to Abramelin. This is the salt we'll be using. When you're making holy water, you are essentially making seawater, saline. It's the basis of your blood. And because um, we are all ultimately children of the sea, I, I uh, choose to use sea salt. The key doesn't actually uh, require one type of salt or another. So I get the salt from the mother. And back to our earthen vessel. Now spring water. <clears throat> is what you have to use to make holy water. And it is very important that it is spring water. Spring water is, actually flows to the surface through underground rivers. And that means that it's like the river Styx. It flows through the lands of the ancestors and all of the underworld spirits and the knowledge that they contain. Again, I deal in bulk, so we're going to actually concentrate a couple of gallons of spring water here. Now in Florida, this stuff is easy to get. But these days, of course, you can get it 
anywhere, just make sure that what you're buying is spring water, not drinking water, not purified water, not distilled water. It has to come from under the earth. And you know, do a little research on the company too. If you can't go to a spring and get it, uh, make sure that the company doesn't have any marks against them for falsifying what they're selling. So now we are ready to begin consecrating our water. And I'm just going to say over the water very quickly, Lord Dean, Lord, God of all life and light, Dean to bless this water so it may be used in your workings. Now, I'm going to try to set you guys up here. This might be a little tricky. Switch you around. I'm going to try to get you to see the altar fairly well. And I hope I'm talking loud enough. I tested the microphone. It seems to work pretty good. Fresh out of my uh, ritual bath, by the way. Hair unbound, no rings, no bracelets. Um, this isn't something that's called for in the books. This was something my spirits asked me to be completely unfettered, I suppose you could say. Now we're going to start by lighting our candle. This might actually be a bit of a struggle because, like I said, this is a handmade, homemade wick. Oh, look at that. It doesn't want to fight at all. That's a good sign. Happy little salamander. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that yet. Then you'll see why in just a moment. I gotta keep this lantern open. And let's begin by consecrating the candle, or actually exorcise the exorcism of the fire. I exorcise thee, O creature of fire, in the name of the Sovereign and Eternal Lord, by his ineffable name, which is yod heh vav -Hey, by the name Yah, and by the name of Power El, that thou mayest enlighten the heart of all spirits who shall call, that, that we shall call unto this circle, so that they may appear without fraud, without deceit, through him who hath created all things. Let me jump back a chapter. There's a second exorcism of the fire. Oracle. I exorcise thee, O creature of fire, by him through whom all things have been made, so that every kind of phantasm may retire from thee and be unable to harm or deceive in any way. Of the Most High Creator of all. Amen. Bless, O oh Lord, all powerful and all merciful, this creature of fire so that being blessed by thee, it may be for the honor and glory of thy most holy name, so that it may work no hindrance or evil unto those who use it. Through thee, O eternal and almighty Lord, and through thy most holy name. Amen. Set this aside for just a moment. All right, this has effectively opened the temple. 
We have our light and fire because no consecration can be done without the presence of fire. So now it is appropriate to move on. Grab the, my Bible for the Psalter. This is a hazel stick that never bore uh, fruit and which was cut appropriately at sunrise with one stroke, etc. And uh, it's not consecrated as a Solomonic wand, but I do use it for stirring here. All right. Let me grab. I'm going to add the salt to our water. Zabaoth, Messiah, Emmanuel, Elohim Gibor, Yod He Vav He, O God, who art the truth and the life, deign to bless and sanctify this creature of salt, to serve unto us for help, protection, and assistance in this art, experiment, and operation, and may it be a succor unto us. Now, favorite part of any Solomonic ritual, the Psalms. We're going to begin with Psalm 102. We'll head here. Now listen carefully to the words of these Psalms. These aren't chosen at random. This is a connective storyline that you're going to read through these psalms. Some of them are laments, some of them are calls for help, some of them are praises, some of them are thanks for help given. And you will see this the progression from the lowest to the highest as we move forward. So we'll begin with 102. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto thee. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline thy ear unto me in the day when I call, answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned as an earth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I watch, and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. Mine enemies reproach me all the day, and they that are mad against me are sworn against me. For I have eaten ashes like bread, and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of thine indignation and thy wrath, for thou hast lifted me up, and thou hast cast me down. My days are like a shadow that declineth, and I am withered like grass. But thou, O Lord, shall endure forever and thy remembrance unto all generations. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her, yea, the set time has come. For thy servants take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust thereof. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and not despise their prayer. This shall be written for the generation to come and for the people which shall be created shall praise the Lord. 
For the, he hath looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heaven to the Lord behold the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to loose those that are appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem, when the people are gathered together, and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. He weakened my strength in the way, he shortened my days. I said, O oh my God, take me not away in the midst of my days. Thy years are throughout all generations. Of old thou hast laid the foundation of the earth, and heavens are the works of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment. As a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. The children of thy servants shall continue and their seed shall be established before thee. Psalm 54. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set God before them, Selah. Behold, God is my helper, and Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto mine enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and mine eye hath seen his desire upon mine enemies. to Psalm 6. <laughs> o Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sore vexed, but thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver my soul, O save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave, who shall give thee thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All the night make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. Mine eye is consumed because of grief. It waxeth old because of all mine enemies. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. For the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord hath heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all mine enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Last song is on. Last psalm, it's a short one. God, be merciful to unto us, unto us, and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us, Selah. That thy way may be known upon earth, that thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God, let all the people praise thee. O oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously, and govern the nations upon earth, Selah. Let people praise thee, O God, let all the people praise thee, and shall the earth increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. And that, brothers and sisters, is all that there, there is to that simple blessing and consecration. We now have plenty of holy water. We can use this as it is, but we will also use it as the basis of our planetary herbal waters, as well as our rose water, and uh, a million and one other uses. We go through this stuff pretty fast. Um, so it will be useful in our ceremonies and hopefully yours as well. Um, I guess that's it. I'll go ahead and end the live stream. But if you have any other questions, you can post them in the comments and I'll see what I can do to answer them for you. Okay.
All right, blessed be.